Hey everybody, it's Never here on Dynamite Danger Cat, and I want to explain something uh, related to DirectX 11 and some of the add-ons that people are using for Guild Wars 2. Now, a really quick disclaimer is that obviously add-ons are a use-at-your-own-risk thing, but ArenaNet has come out and said that certain ones are okay and that there's no problem with it, so I'm only going to discuss things that I have seen personal confirmation on being safe to use. These don't modify the game files at all, they are simply overlays that go over the top of the game and get information from it. They don't even have to inject themselves um, using like a direct 3D DLL or anything, at least the ones I'm going to talk about. So the Guild Wars 2 Taco, the tactical overlay you may have noticed, is broken if you turn on DirectX 11. And in fact, uh, the Taco is no longer really maintained unless there's news that's more recent than what I have. And so what this is, is it allows you to have routes drawn on the map and, and here in the world for how to get to things, how to do jumping puzzles, how to do festivals really well, uh, map completion, all of that sort of stuff. And so many of you may be sad to lose that and not want to go to DirectX 11, which has uh, had some pretty significant performance increases for a lot of people, and it's going to do a lot of things in the future that are really great. So... Um, what can you do about it? Well, what you can do is use this little thing called Blish HUD. Blish HUD is wonderful. It is so much better than the taco. You can go to their website, uh, blishhud.com. I'll put a link in the description. And if you've ever used Magisk in Android, this is very similar to that. You can link up your API key. Here's my uh, account name if you want to be friends and uh, it will get all of the things that it needs to do that, and that integrates some nice things for how all of the modules work. You can download modules directly from the repository in here and then set them up and enable them to work. But the cool thing is, this actually works with the files from the Taco and for TechIt guides and things like that. And so if I can, I can just go right up here and turn this on, and then there is the map completion and all of that stuff, and you can you can adjust and customize them. Not quite as much as you could with the taco. There's still some things that are rough around the edges, like not being able to read this and whatnot. But it's functional and it's 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 growing up really fast. It's coming a long way, and so it can use the same things that you had for tech it guides or for the taco itself. There's also this really cool search uh, function you can. Uh, type in um, anything you want and it'll show you stuff and then you can copy the chat link and, and whatnot. So there's, there's a lot of really useful little things, but one of the things I like the most about it is that it's a system tray um, application. So it can minimize to the system tray and then it just stays on and so whenever Guild Wars 2 fires up, it just overlays over the top of it. You don't even have to worry about going and starting it again every time you launch the game, which is extremely convenient, at least for me. So if you're having trouble with that, Blish HUD seems to be the future of this. Um, and so I would recommend going out and getting it, learning how to import files from Taco and from TechIt Guide or whatever else you're using, and get familiar with this because it's a really big step of innovation in a very smart direction. So that's all I've got for you today. If there's anything that you're having trouble with or want to know about, leave a comment below. Or if you've been able to do something cool with Blish HUD or encountered an issue that you found a way to work around, please let everybody know. Okay, thanks, bye.